Dr. Pete might have been about saving lives and beating wives, but unfortunately for him, in Season 5, Rick Grams liked to take the lives. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Entertainment. And we asked the question, what should Rick and the group have done about Pete after they found out he was abusing his family in the latter stages of Season 5, The Walking Dead. Now, I don't know if we ever get proof that Pete is abusing his family, but there's like, I, I believe that Jesse pretty much insinuates that it's happening. Also, her youngest son is afraid of his father. So, yeah, maybe it is happening. That means that the group has to make a decision. We think there's four options here. We've put them up for a poll. Option one, do nothing. It's a family issue. Option two, separate Jesse and the kids from Pete. Option three, excommunicate Pete for Alexandria. And option four, kill Pete, which Rick's pretty good at. He's pretty good at killing in general, especially this season five Rick Tatorship where he just likes to, you know, end lives and do it with a smile on his face. So that was the four options. 183 votes and overwhelmingly 66% have said with Kill Pete. So automatically, 66%, two thirds of the 183 people that voted here believe that Pete doesn't deserve a second chance. Pete doesn't deserve an explanation or that there shouldn't be like other you know options that we try here. They, they just think that killing Pete straight away is the way to go. 15% both believe that Pete should have either been excommunicated from Alexandria or that at least they could have separated Jesse and the kids from Pete. Keep in mind, Alexandria did have lots of houses, so this is a this is an option that you can certainly make happen. You can certainly separate the family from Pete, and you could have made it law. Maybe, I don't know, add some sort of restraining order in there. And 4%, a very small percent of people, uh, believe that nothing should have been done about it because it's a family issue, and if Pete, wants to beat his wife, then I guess these 4% believe then it should be allowed to happen. So that's the option. 66% of people says that Rick should have killed him. Are they right? I'm baffled by that. I think that's incredible. I mean, we're not saying here after he killed Reggie. Should he have been killed? I mean, yeah, that's nothing to do with it here. The, the Reggie thing is not even been taken into the equation. Yeah, I think some people may have thought that, though. But No, they ain't. The, the question clearly states it's about abusing his family. I know, but the picture of Rick's killing him, isn't it? Yeah, because he kills him there. Jeez, that's why the picture of Rick's killing him. Yeah, but I'm just saying that people might have factored that in. Well, no, they ain't factoring shit in, right? The, the question is... Sorry, Don. People's never misread a poll to you. But the question is, Pete was abusing his... There's nothing about Reggie here on the question. Reggie's nowhere to be seen. Well, Reggie's gone. Pete's gone. And I think, to actually suggest that the guy should be killed for it, I mean, I'm not going to go as far as saying it's crazy, because, I mean, look at look at the world that they're living in. People have been killed for far less. Yeah, but well, people have been killed for way less than what Pete got, got killed for. Yeah, so based off that logic, yeah, you could argue Pete does deserve to die. I mean, Rick killed a cop not too long ago, because he ran down the street. <laughs> yeah. Jaywalking? You jaywalking? This is bullshit. Officer friendly. I don't so like you that. think you think sixty six percent of people are wrong? Yes, yeah. I do. I, I I think the middle two. I I think the two options that got thirty percent between them. I would have picked one of them. I think that you probably go with separate Pete from Jesse and the kids, and then if that doesn't work you can excommunicate Pete for Alexandria. Now, I can see why people don't like the whole excommunicate Pete from Alexandria option because Pete then knows where Alexandria is and he could possibly come back looking for revenge, but I don't know. Pete doesn't really strike me as that kind of guy that's going to go and recruit an army like no. the governor and then come and launch an attack like he did on the prison. If they if they built a jail cell for Negan, right, who, I mean, let's be real, <laughs> he was a bit of a murderer. War, yeah, war crimes. No, then can they not build a can they not build a jail for this guy? Yeah, no, no, too, no, too much no spoilers here. But uh, how many people did Negan kill? Yeah, a lot. Uh, Rick, I mean, yeah. So for me, I don't think it's kill Pete, but I, I can certainly think it's one of the the middle two options. Let's get into the comments. A uh, guy that says exiling Pete was the best option. Everyone here just says they want to kill people until it actually comes up. 
I, I agree. Like, I, I think people, well, I don't know, the re, 2024, the, the real world is pretty shit, but you can't just go around killing people. Yeah. You, you, you should only be killing someone really in self-defense. Yeah. Otherwise, it's, it's murder, and murder's never a good thing. I don't think murder is ever justifiable. No. Self-defense, killing someone in self-defense, yes. But if you, to straight up murder someone, I've got a question, like, what kind of person you are. Because I don't think it's right to take it. And it's not like a religious thing. I just don't think it's right to Bear take a life. Pete is a doctor as well. He's an asset to the group. Yes. Um, He's not just some throwaway guy who's a mouth to feed. Maybe a bit of an asshole, but uh, definitely an asset as well. So, Why? But then again, I'm not going to say that if Pete wasn't a doctor, then, yeah, just kill him. Aye, no, I, I still think they should have looked at other options, but, uh, you know, I, I get it. Uh, Otto says, based on what we know of how crazy Pete actually was, then Pete, then killing Pete is the right call, because having someone like that in your community is kind of dangerous. But we think of the situation they were in, and that they, were on, they only knew that he beat his wife, probably his kids as well. The correct option should be to separate them. After all, Pete is a doctor, and if they could somehow make him a little better, then he could be an asset. However, to kick him out of Alexandria... Definitely the worst option. In best case scenario, he just dies. But in the worst case scenario, he finds a group of his own and leads them there to get revenge. So, oh, oh they're bringing up the kind of governor uh, option where you know he knows what the president is, and then he comes back later with a new group or whatnot. I don't know. Pete just doesn't really strike me as that kind of person. But see, I know what the problem is. I think with TV shows and movies, you're led to believe that these anti-heroes and murderers are better than like law-abiding citizens who are physical with their family. Here, I think people who beat their wives and girlfriends and kids, I mean, I think they're scumbags, but I think we're almost in this bubble where, like, he said, oh, he's dangerous to have around. Is he more dangerous to have around than fucking Rick? And other people of th that group who killed people? Put it this way, right? If, if you're next to... If you seen your next-door neighbour out in the street and he, and he, like, slapped his wife, you can't just pull out a gun and shoot him dead. No. Like, you can't, you can't do that. But, have now, you seen I know Rick it, doing some of his stuff out in the street? Yeah, now, I, I know TV shows are, oh, they need to glorify everything, so, oh, Rick's a badass, but see the end of the, see when we actually break it down, Rick's not a nice person, is he? No, he's not, but I'm not talking about, like, who Rick's killed, like, I mean, he killed Gareth, I think it was justified, yes, a bit brutal, but... You know what, considering what they've done and what they were about to do to, like, his son, fair enough. But you look at the police officer that he killed, I, I mean, I, I just can't spin that. What was Gareth really, what was Gareth going to do his son? They were in the church and fucking eat them. Ah, uh, true. And he was going to slit their throats back in Terminus. Oh, that's true. Ah, uh, no, that's justified, right? I'm not going to pretend that that wasn't. But then you look at, like, the people they killed at Woodbury, right? I mean, he, he killed Shane. Yep. Um, uh, Dave and Tony, I mean, I'd say that's about self-defence, but point is, Rick's killed a lot of people he didn't need to kill. Yes, no, I agree. I think there's definitely people that he had, like like you said, Gareth, I think it's justifiable. Uh, the Claimers group, I think, was justifiable. Yep. So, th there's some, but, I mean, for me, Pete, I'm going to say no. No, yeah. It's like, what Pete is doing, I mean, there's a lot of people, I mean, I know it's more of an old school thing, but Jesus Christ, like, what Pete is doing, it, it, you're led to believe in this show that it's like the most heinous thing ever. It's like, oh, this community. But the reality is, Rick is much worse than Pete. Yeah, Pete. I don't think Pete's ever killed anyone. Yeah, and as you said, I mean, at this point, murder can be justified. But what they get, what they, what, is, what has Pete done? Like, there's no proof really to back it up. Yeah, for all we know, Jesse could have made it up to get Pete over life. Yeah, even though he did it. But come on, guys, wake up and smell the coffee. Yeah, so anyway, here we go. Uh, Bridget Connor says, if you asked Jim, or whatever his name was from season one, he would say that it's Pete's wife and he can do whatever he wants to her. Separating the two is a reasonable place to start if someone is able to properly explain to Pete that any further aggression or wife beating ba or wife battering could lead to further punishment or exile. Pete isn't some hardened survivalist, so I imagine the thought of being exiled would be enough to set him straight since it would essentially be a death sentence for him. Again, I always agree with Bridget O'Connor. So yeah, and, and I, I, think, I think it just shows you, though, like, see in season one, see when, uh, what's his name? Pete, Jim. Jim, no, not Jim, the other guy. That, Ed. Ed. Seeing he was battering Carol, right? Shane threw him a bean, but it was more like, because 
he was disrespecting the group and the women rather than because he's just beating his wife. Everyone kind of knew it, he was doing that, right? Didn't know the stuff about Sophia. I mean, hell, I don't even know if that's true, right? That's kind of rumours and speculation. But if Shane just walked in, right, to where they were doing the laundry and shot Ed clean in the face... No one would have been okay with that. No. With people, oh, Shane, buddy. No, there wouldn't have been... Even the beating they gave him, like, people thought it was a bit too far. Yeah, I think Especially Jim. Yeah. Maybe it was a bit too far, to be honest, like when you've seen Ed's face. Yeah, but like... that's what I'm saying. I think Jim's reaction and other people's reaction just proves that what Pete is doing in his heinous is what other characters in the show have done. Like, the, w- the way Pete is being portrayed, right, in the second half of season five, you would think he was on par with some of the evilest bastards in this show. Plus, I, I mean, you could argue they're both beating their wife, but for me, Pete doesn't seem as bad as Ed. Ed legitimately feels like a bully. I'm not justifying Pete, but Pete just seems like someone maybe when he gets a bit drunky. Aye. Because, I mean, you, you see him like, uh, you see him like being threatening towards Rick as well at times, but there's times when he was nice to Rick. You see, Rick wasn't interested in Carol, so maybe that's why I didn't want to kill Ed. Because who would be interested in Carol? Well, that's very true. Rick could have done something about that there's back then. But... There's different motives at play here with Rick and Jesse. Yeah, Rick just wanted rid of Pete because he, he was attractive to Jesse. So Did Jesse looked like a big bag of shite. Would Rick be bothering his arse? I'm going to say no. Otto says... To def- more interested in Pete. To defend my man Jim, he was not completely himself when he said that. Do you agree with that? Was, was Jim not himself? When was Jim, when was Jim himself, though? See, we Jim... For about ten minutes. I'm going to be honest, right? See, Jim, seeing the first couple of watch-throughs, I thought he was a good, I thought he was a good character. See, watching back, though, I don't, I don't know if I really feel like he's a good character anymore. He's bit. Jim's bit. I hate the Jackie there for that, though. I know. That was just so unnecessary. Almost bragging about the film. Jim, Jim begging that she brought a husband along so he could batter her for him. Uh, Louis Alberto says, how can it be Kill Pete? And I think I replied to that saying, yeah, I don't really understand how it's Kill Pete. So there you go. Pretty much everyone in agreement here that they should have been separated with possible further punishment if that didn't solve things. But um, yeah, we all know that the reason why he gets killed in the end is probably not because of the beating here. And but Rick was begging to kill him. Rick yeah. had his finger on the trigger. Uh, let, let's be honest. If Pete didn't kill Reggie, Rick would have happily still killed Pete anyway. Yeah. <laughs> if uh, Diana says to Rick here, Pete's beating his wife, you have to kill him. Rick would have went, no, wait, I don't think that's enough to kill him. You know, Rick would have took the chance. So. Yo, there, there's just there's loads of TV shows, though, where someone's been physical with their partner or wife. I mean, hell, look at Clay Morrow. He battered the shit out of Jim. Jax was pissed off because it's his mum. It's even with some throwaway fucking members old lady. He wouldn't have gave a shit. Like, let, let's pretend that Jesse just... Let's say Pete's never been an abusive... Pete's never been an abusive guy. And him and Jesse get in an argument. And, and, and Jesse slaps Pete. Are 66% of people saying that Jesse deserves to die? Of course not. No, it probably doesn't even get 1% of the fight. You know what I mean? It's like fucking retarded. You know? Um, you know, punish him in some way, yes. Bad guy, yes. But, uh, I mean, killing him for that, I'm not entirely, I'm not convinced. Anyway, guys, that's it. Um, we're at the end of Season 5 of The Walking Dead. I've got maybe a couple more theories to go. And then we're going to be ranking the characters, ranking the episodes. And, uh, yeah, Season 6 is... Uh, coming soon and apparently according to a lot of YouTubers on here season 6 is the best season ever oh, so, yeah. so I guess we'll see for ourselves how season 6 stands up we haven't seen it once but uh, only once so. that was enough yeah, but, now. but we'll see now how season 6 holds up anyway guys that's it catch you in the next one until then peace